Hi, everybody. Congratulations on the crossover. Uh, Kwame, if I could start with you, can you talk a little bit about, um, you know, from from page to screen, this this journey with the crossover and and what it's like boarding as a showrunner on on a series adaptation of a, a poem book that you wrote? So when I wrote the novel in verse, I had no idea how to do it. I didn't know what I was doing. I knew I loved poetry and I loved reading novels, but how to marry those two, it was trial and error. It was five years. It was five hours a day writing every day in Panera Bread, trying to figure it out and listening to jazz music while I'm doing it. And after five years, I finally figured it out. I want to say this journey that Damani and I started in maybe 2018, we're five years into it. And the show's about to air. So we figured out how to transition this novel in verse on the page to the stage, as it were. And it took us five years. There's something about the five-year thing. How we did it, Alex, I have no idea. You got to ask Damani. Or Damani and Kimberly, can you talk about um, what it was about the crossover um, and and how this this conversation started with Kwame to, to get to this point where we have a, a series about to launch. What's funny about when we started this, Kwame was actually living in London and I was in LA. And so it was a long distance relationship that that sort of we panned out and we eventually met in person and it was even better. But um, I think ultimately we were trying to figure out how do you how do you translate a book of poetry into dialogue on screen and it just took a lot of conversation and and we're, we're all i think smart people i would like to think and it just only took us five years to figure it out how to do it but um once we did uh i think we hit our sweet spot very cool and for kimberly what was it about um the crossover that made you want to get behind this as an executive producer the story the representation the the idea that i can sit down for this time in a day and watch a show with my children that we could relate to. We, you know, we see ourselves in these characters. For me, that was, that I was sold. I mean, my kids are fans of the book. I mean, it was, it was a no brainer. Were either of you familiar with the book before the audition process came up? Um, yes. Did you read it at any point during this and and get any insight into your characters that maybe wasn't in the script? Yes, for sure. That was kind of the manual uh, before getting into filming, um, that's what helped, uh, what I feel like would help me, you know, kind of shape him, um, like kind of 70%, 60%. And then the rest of it was, you know, myself embodying him in a real time and, you know, live. Now, obviously basketball is a huge deal in the show. What were either of you um, basketball players before this role? Is it an important part of your life or or did you have to kind of go through a crash course um, in order to uh, pull off these characters? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Me and uh, Amir actually were in, in AAU uh, before this. Yeah. We're lying. We're lying. We're lying. <laughs> Me and Jay, we didn't have, we didn't have Friday. We did not have Friday experience to filming, but um. I mean, yeah, we we got in. We were training a lot, and we enjoyed it. I feel like we're pretty good at it now. So, yeah, for sure. Deja and Skyla, was basketball uh, an important sport to you, um, or as actors, was it kind of not so much on your radar? I watch basketball, but um, <laughs> um, and then after I booked the role, I I put myself in um basketball lessons, and I wasn't that good they had me paired with 10 year olds who were crossing me up and <laughs> it was it was rough it was rough so i would say that uh basketball is not my strong suit but um i'm a volleyball girl so that's my that's my sport i'll claim volleyball Bas I, I watch basketball too um i'm not a pro basketball player but i love shooting hoops with my family and friends like on the courts um, and I also put myself, once I booked the show, put myself in all in ball training in Orange County. So shout out to my coach there. So that was really cool just to know what I was watching, know what, what they were talking about. And, uh, yeah. And Trevor did having um, basketball experience, give you kind of a competitive edge, um, on, on set. Yeah, definitely playing my whole life, high school, middle school. So yeah, definitely coming down here. It was uh, felt right at home. Had you two ever worked together before this? And if not, did you get much time in preparation to build this chemistry, this this 
uh, marriage that we see on screen? No mm. and no. No. <laughs> no, no. It was a reality show build. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. We didn't know each other before and we didn't have much time to build chemistry at all. We just, I think, naturally had it, which is which is a testament to ca- the casting process. Mm. Um, because I chemistry read with two other guys that was not Derek. <laughs> and then when they cast me, they said, oh, and your husband is Der- Derek Luke. I was like, wait, what? First of all, amazing. You know, I was very excited. Um, but then it was, it was, it's just a testament to them to seeing that we could work together. You know, how do you see that in your mind's eye? I don't know. I just think that's amazing. And when we came together, we just naturally had it. Yeah. But I always say I think it's a testament to the cast. Like I think we are all pretty much like grounded human beings. We're we're re- you know, there's not a bunch of like the Hollywood isms that you think of when you, you know, think of actors. Thank you all so much. Congratulations again. Uh